Hey guys, it's Dove here, and I am really excited because today I'm about to answer a ton of your questions, so let's get started. Yo, what's your favorite tattoo? I, that's really hard because I have, um, I have this one that we all know is for um, my friend Cameron Boyce, which is definitely one of my favorites. It makes me feel close to him. I also have one here that you would see on my arm uh, that is dedicated to my late father. That's also obviously a favorite of mine. Um, I recently, just the other day, got this little she tattoo. It says she, which makes me think about the divine feminine, the great female energy whenever I'm feeling depressed or <laughs> low or just tired. Um, and I also have this massive snake on my foot, which is really cute. Hi, peanut butter. Oh my God, I'm so excited. My question for you, Dove Cameron is what is the main genre of music that you like to sing or like what's the main style that you like to keep your voice in when you are writing new songs or is it just however you're feeling that day? I love you. I guess I would say alt pop. It's really hard to describe um, your style when I don't really feel like it fits in one lane. I would say like alternative pop, noise pop, that kind of thing. Hi, Dev Cameron. I was wondering which one of your roles was your favorite because I've seen you in a lot of my favorite shows, like Live and Maddie, Descendants, stuff like that. What is my favorite role that I've ever played? That's a really hard question. I've never been able to answer that. Um, I mean, I feel like I like all the roles that I play. Um, probably Clara. I, di I did a show called The Light in the Piazza in the West End in London and then at LA Opera in Los Angeles. Um, and it's my favorite musical, uh, and it's a very tumultuous, difficult, emotional role. So I would say that's probably my favorite. It was one of my dream roles as well, so probably that. Not many people got to see that, so I know that's not the answer you wanted to hear, but that's the answer. Hi, Deb Cameron. Um, my name is Amari. I love you so very much. I've been loving you since Living Maddie or whatever, but um, my question is to you is you i follow you on instagram and you are so positive about your body you are always talking positive about how women should stand out with their bodies and not be afraid to show it off and stuff how do you deal with the negativity in your comments when you do talk about those situations love you i think the answer is i just believe in in my point of view so strongly that i'm able to hear intense criticism around it and not be phased. I know that a lot of people disagree with me. I think that women should be able to show their bodies and not always view themselves as sexual objects, not view their bodies as inherently wrong or sinful or overly sexual. Like a body is just a body and a body is as normal and beautiful as, you know, a river, the mountains, the sun. Like it's just a naturally occurring thing. Why we need to have so much shame around it and also like we're we're told every day that we suck and all these reasons that we're wrong and why do we feel like we're made wrong i okay snapchat cut me off because i was talking too much and i also swore a lot that last one so take two um i'm really passionate about this but i just don't want my young female audience being told that their bodies are inherently more sexual than men's bodies and that their breasts are so much trouble and that boys can't study because they're showing their shoulders like don't tailor yourself and your life experience around a very puritan objectifying culture you're beautiful your body is fine stop letting people objectify you from like day dot right oh i don't subscribe to that no and i'm i will be showing my body with pride thank you final thought on the matter i know this is going to take up the whole thing but if you don't want to show your body, you don't have to. I'm not talking, I'm not advocating for doing anything that you're uncomfortable with. I'm just saying that if you want to show your body, you should have no shame in that. And just because our culture is very buttoned up around the idea of female sexuality and female body positivity and expressing yourself in a sexual, powerful way, um, and even in a non-sexual, just like having a body. If, they, if someone's making you feel bad about that, they're not in the right. <laughs> you're in the right okay and then if you want to stay covered up by all means if that's how you feel best do your thing just don't let anybody else ruin your life thank you 
First, I want to say you're beautiful inside and out, and I love you so much. Also, my question for you is, what is your favorite musical, and then what's your favorite musical's playlist? Um, what's my favorite musical? My favorite musical is probably The Light in the Piazza, which is the show that I mentioned earlier that I that I did. Super, super excited about that. Um, I also am a really big fan of Heather's. Um, Wicked, obviously. Uh, Cabaret, Jekyll and Hyde. Mm, too many good ones. I'm a big musical theater geek. It's no secret. What is your favorite song out of all the songs you've released so far? Mine is We Belong because of the run and the accident. What's my favorite song I've released? That's hard. I My, my favorite song, like kind of always, is always going to be Waste, which was one of my first songs I released. Um, but I also love We Belong, obviously, that's the most recent one. I like all my music. Like, I, I know that people always make fun of artists when they listen to their own stuff, but I'm like, if you're not making stuff that you want to listen to, where are you, where are you making your music for? <laughs> I love my music. I love listening to it. If I didn't, why would I release it? Um, I have to be a fan of it. Otherwise, you're just putting it out for, for a while. My favorite songs, though, are still yet to come, so stay tuned. Hi, my question for Dove Cameron is, what more tattoos do you want? I, um, yeah, it's a big problem, actually, because it's one of those things where they, they say, they're like, it's addictive, once you start, you won't be able to stop, um, and you're like, no, but, peanut butter, are you up on the counter? Okay, I'm letting this slide, this once. Um, you really can't stop once you've started, at least that's been my experience. Hi, baby. Um, I want like 30 more, but I'm an actor. It's really bad. It's bad that I have so many already. I have 13. Um, I'm going to take a little break. I think I've reached a good point. Uh, and then uh, keep you guys posted. I'm too impulsive. I know I'll get more. Are we going to see you in any more movies? Any new ones coming in the books? Are you going to be seeing me in any more movies? Um, and the answer is yes. I was actually in the middle of shooting two different movies movies when uh, the lockdown happened initially when COVID first started so I still have to finish those those will be coming out pretty quickly after that and then I also am leaving in two weeks to go shoot a brand new series that I just booked that I'm really excited about that I can't talk about yet um, and then I have two other movies after I finish those three so yeah you'll, you will be seeing me you'll you'll probably wish you were seeing less of me um, was there ever a time that you felt like giving up and you just didn't know what to do with anything and you just like were stuck in bed and how did you get over that? I love you. You could either mean giving up in the industry, in which case, yes, I have felt like giving up a number of times. Um, not recently, but there were many times where I didn't take a break and I wasn't taking care of myself and I was pushing myself too hard and I was working like 20 hours a day and like really sick, really ill, you know, stuff I've like never really spoken about. Um, but definitely in those times you're like, I don't even know if I can, if I can do this, like if my body can keep up. Um, and then if you just mean in life, uh, I definitely struggle with depression, um, something called chronic PTSD, um, and anxiety. So my, uh, body's <laughs> level of wanting to give up is, is, um, pretty constant. And so I think, I think the best way that I handle it is therapy, self-care. Um, um, and by self-care, I mean, you know, like, um, isolating myself from the things that harm me, uh, making the difficult decision to put myself first and give up different opportunities that might help my career or, or otherwise, um, saying no when I feel incapable, uh, you know, making making the hard decisions that might not be straightforward because I know that it's what I need. Um, being my own parent, my own best friend, my own partner, things like that. I know that that's not really straightforward, but um, neither is mental health. So, yeah, it's really it's really about carving your own path, though. I think I think that I I am just now recently figuring out how to best care for myself. So, yeah, I definitely recommend therapy and. Um, being honest with yourself and, and hopefully finding good relationships that you can invest in and putting yourself first. What is your songwriting process and what is one of your favorite songs that you've written? And is there a dream collaboration that you're looking forward to, work, to working on? 
with someone. My cat will not leave me alone. What here? You can be in the video. What has been my favorite songwriting process um, for the songs that I've released or the songs that I've written? Really, <laughs> baby, hi, baby. Um, and I, I guess I don't know. The answer is hard. Every songwriting process has been really different. I feel like one of my most favorite processes processes was um, a song that I haven't released yet. A song I don't know if I'm gonna release because uh, it's a very like personal song. It's actually not even finished yet, and it's with this writer who I love named Kara Salamando. Shout out to you, Kara. Uh, and it was just we were working really hard to encapsulate something that I didn't know how to put into words, and, and she really helped me do that. Uh, so hopefully I get to release that one day, but I don't know. I, I really enjoy writing writing all the songs that you guys have heard, and I can't wait to show you more. Thank you guys so much for sending in all your questions. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Please stay safe. Um, stay home if you can, and if you can't, wear your mask. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Thank you, Peanut Butter, special guest star, star of every show. <laughs> I love you guys.